Wonder Bread Summer is about a 20-year-old girl named Allie who finds herself working in a little clothing boutique in 1983 that turns out to be a front for a cocaine dealer. And she didn't realize it was a cocaine dealer when she started working there, and this actually happened to me. So that's where the story started. And through a series of misadventures, she ends up on the lam with a Wonder Bread bag full of cocaine with people chasing her. We understand the Wonder Bread Summer was influenced by Alice in Wonderland. Uh, where can we spot some of those influences in the story? Well, it wasn't influenced. I mean, it wasn't influenced by Alice in Wonderland. What happened is I wrote the whole book, and I had Allie, well, that was her name, and she's dealing with cocaine, and there's these people after her, and she has these hallucinations because of some drugs that are given to her, and she carries a white rabbit foot as a lucky keychain and her mother is sort of like this queen of hearts, kind of evil oh. maternal character. And my agent read it, you know, read the draft and said, this is like Alice in Wonderland, but in 1983, it's a modern day Alice in Wonderland. So my agent read it and then she mentioned it to my editor at HarperCollins and she, they both loved this idea. And so they were like, can you just heighten it a little bit? But it really was already there organically. And so there were just certain things that I just heightened and kind of went in and added little things. Uh, you've also started writing a new novel. Do you have the title yet? And what will that be? The new novel is called The Problem with Lexi. That's the title. So, hey, And it's a story about a woman, a 33-year-old woman working in a private school, a private boarding school in New Hampshire, who gets in trouble, she starts fooling around with the wrong people. You told us on Twitter that getting started is the hardest part. How were you able to get started for this one? Yeah, that was funny. You guys were tweeting. We were tweeting, tweet talking. Um, getting started is the hardest part because for me, I lose all confidence and it's like I've never written anything in my life and I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing and I feel like I'm dumb and incompetent. <laughs> How can I ever write a book? And at some point I have to remind myself that I've already done it before. And that doesn't seem to work. So then what I have to do is just write anyway. I just have to think, well, I'm just going to write even though I'm terrified and I don't know what I'm doing. So that day, the first day I started, I wrote, uh, I wrote the title, I wrote chapter one, and I wrote a paragraph, and then I deleted everything but the first sentence. So that was day one. So day two I had one sentence, and then day two I wrote five pages in day three, I wrote five or six pages. So then I've been writing five or six pages okay. ever since. So really nice. Yeah. yeah, so really the first day is the most terrifying. Your last book, The Summer of Naked Swim Parties, was a national bestseller. Can you tell us a little about that book? Uh, that was a fun book to write. Okay. And uh, it was based on my childhood in Santa Barbara. And my parents okay. would swim naked and, they, you know, there's a lot of, they were growing taut and it was a little <laughs> crazy back then. It was a crazy 70s, so it was just a book about that crazy time in my life and people fell in love with that book. I think because a lot of people had crazy childhoods too and I think it was sort of people connected to it because they thought, well, here's somebody who's just willing to admit to all this wackiness. that I actually go and reread is Madame Bovary by Flaubert. So I, I guess based on the fact that I pull it out and reread it, that might be one of my favorite. I also pull out Flannery O'Connor stories and reread those. So maybe Flannery O'Connor's short stories are my favorite because I will just grab a book, sit down and reread some of her short stories frequently. Well, that's great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so and enjoy much. today. Okay. Thank you for thank having you. me here. Okay.